Okay, uh, welcome to Provider's uh, video presentation here of how to process a sales order in the Sage Pack system. So you'll see over here on uh, the left, you know, we're using the sample company uh, incorporated. Uh, each of the modules uh, appear down the left hand side here, similar to uh, Windows Explorer. Um, the modules that appear over here on the left are only those that are activated uh, for each company. So we look down the side here, we see uh, order entry, we saw order entry transactions and the order entry icon. Um, note that um, you, you essentially enter quotes and orders in the same spot, which is through here, through the OE order entry. Um, and invoices can be also entered through here as well, uh, or you can convert an order to an invoice and a, you can convert a order from a quote as well. All right, um, if you, let's go up here and have a look at the sales order numbers. Um, you know, you can scroll back through the previous uh, numbers and view the information about that particular sales order. Um, and you can look those up in the finder as well. All the information is presented here on the screen for each of the orders that are residing in the system. Um, and in fact, you've got a very powerful search feature up here where you can uh, find a particular sales order by purchase order number, order reference, expected shipping date, origin quote number, there is a stack of fields you can search on. So it makes it quite, uh, quite a powerful system as well. Um, so uh, if you, for example, searching on the bill to name uh, and you want to find any bill to name that contains black, you can do a search here. Um, the system will auto find all the customers that have black in the bill to number. Uh, bill to name, so it's Ronald Black, for example, down here. And then it's just a matter of going through and clicking on that particular order, and you can view the information about that order in the system. Uh, there's other things that you can do in the system. Um, you know, prior to processing your order, you could do pre credit checks uh, if that information is available. Uh, if I want to create a new sales order, just click on the new button. Uh, I look up my customer and if I know the customer contains black, I can go black. I'll find Mr. Ronald Black, I select that customer. A lot of fields here, but you don't necessarily have to fill in those fields. Um, things like warehouse locations, um, what, what type of order it is, an active sales order, a future order, um, so your future date, a sales order or invoice, a standing order if it's a regular sales order coming in from a customer and you can do quotes as well. So quotes just another form of sales order really. So if it's an active order, we can pick up a order from a number of different quotes as well. So if you've done three or four quotes and you want to convert that into one sales order, you can do that. Um, just put a description in there about the uh, particular sales order, you can skip over that. You can go straight into the item number if you know part of the item number, you can start to type that and hit F5 on your keyboard. You'll go through and search all the A1 uh, items. Otherwise, you can do searches based on description uh, of an item. Uh, again, very powerful. Search a lot of different options in there. If you pick up the fluorescent de desk lamp, just like that. And it's just a matter of scrolling through. Uh, if the you know if when you first time you use the system. Uh, you want to remove some of these columns to make the data entry faster. Um, you know, you can just basically uh, right click on there and hide that, that particular field. So you can actually get quite a short um, data entry here as well. So uh, at least we need the quantity ordered. So let's say it's 10 on order there. We go through. Uh, as long as the other information is already picked up from the customer and the unit, there's nothing. Uh, more to do there. You can actually just literally post that order and you can print the order confirmation. Uh, if there's any additional information you want on the uh, order confirmation such as serial numbers and shipping labels and kitting components you can print that. Otherwise you just print up the basic order confirmation. The system will preview that up on the screen. Um, it's totally customizable, that's a crystal report, so that can be totally customized 
uh, to suit your requirements, such as logos and so on. And if it's a quote, it'll look you know, pretty much the same. Up just up here, I have quote. All right, uh, so you close uh, close that, and again, if you want to keep processing, once again, just go back. New, if you know the customer number, you can put that information in. Um, if you know, uh, if you go straight down and you know the item number, you can just click on that particular field and put the item number straight in the system as well. Uh, okay, so uh, let's scroll through and have a look at some of this information that's in here. Central warehouse, you pick your different warehouse, select. Let's just scroll through these fields. Um, and uh, if you want to view the item, you can do it in this particular mode as well. Uh, sometimes, you know, people find it easy to data enter in this particular format. Um, so, for example, if I know the item number, I can just type that in A1460. And I just tab on that. It, um, if that particular item number has uh, hyphens and uh, slashes and so on in there, um, and you type it in, it will just simply find that the product and automatically uh, put the, the, the dash and the slash in there for you. It'll fill out the information attached by default to that um, particular item. So simply just a matter of you know, putting in the quantity there. So it's five, scroll through. Tax information is all defaulted. You can view some information about um, the quantity on hand in the warehouse, how much on uh, purchase order you have, and how much of the stock is committed to other sales orders. That information is all down here on this um, uh, dashboard view. And, you know, you can actually drill in, drill in and see what are these other sales orders and what are these other purchase orders. Um, this tells you where, you know, uh, the information about the current location where I'm pulling this order from, but also you can view all locations as well. So I'll just add that line item and close that particular view. Um, and, you know, if I want to ship that and turn that into an invoice, I can just ship it and post it. And what I've done there is process the sales order uh, and the shipment. Depending on how I've got the system configured, that may also process the invoice as well. So if I print the ship, shipment picking slip for um, the warehouse to pick that up, we'll just print that out in the preview mode so you can see it. Most of our customers have that uh, automatically printing out down in the warehouse. So you've got your shipping slip uh, and your picking slip available there. So it tells the pickers, uh, it's picking sequence 48, to go and grab the white melanine boards, five ordered, and have that ready for dispatch. Okay. Um, and then you can simply keep processing uh, sales orders and invoices in that particular manner. Um, you do have the option here, processing the shipment separately to the order. So you can process the sales order, ship, ship uh, that item later if it's not in stock and you need to ship it later, you can ship it. Um, the invoice entry is basically an identical method, uh, identical screen to the sales order. I'll just show that briefly. There it is again there. So uh, if it's a new invoice again, 1200, um, you know, you can pick that up from the existing shipment number that's sitting in the system. It's one I just processed. Okay, so there's the white mail on my board. Um, you know, I'm ready basically to process that invoice immediately. I'll just post it. And yes, I will print the invoice. I'll just show again. You'll see that a lot of the forms are quite similar. Um, but they're totally customizable. Um, I've included the back ordered items on there as well as uh, the shipping label. So that's what the invoice looks like. You know, you can save that email, uh, you can save that, you can export that to PDF, you can export it to Word, you can email it, you can print it off. There's a lot of different things you can do with that particular form. Um, now that's been invoiced out to the customer. Um, and the shipping uh, 
and picking slip has gone down to the warehouse for, for picking uh, and for goods to be dispatched. You can also come in here and process your credit notes and debit notes as well. So, um, you know, if you needed to come in there and provide a credit note, you could come in, look up a particular invoice and immediately process a credit note as well. I'll do a new credit note there, 1200. And you know, if I want to pick up that invoice that I've just uh, credited, I can find that one. That'll be the last one I've done there. Invoice number 63. Okay. Um, normally you would do a day in process before doing the credit note, but you don't necessarily have to. And we'll just process that credit note. So you can see how simple and easy, once you've entered in that first uh, quote or order, how it flows through the system. And I'll just view that credit note there for you. And it'll use a crisp report or print preview on the screen. It's a bit slow when you print preview, but uh, normally if you just print it out in the print or you don't print it or you can skip this step totally. All right, so there's the credit note, uh, all the information's on there, the invoice date, the description, the price, and so on. Uh, I'll close that down. Um, once uh, you know, you've completed your processing, uh, you know, uh, inside there's a number of, uh, you know, periodic processes you can do, clearing the history, um, you can change some of the setup items, create new templates, ship via codes, Set up email messages for emailing out invoices and orders. Creating optional fields to attach to an invoice or an order. And, oh, it looks like I'm unavailable, there we go. Um, uh, let's just have a look at a couple of forms, order confirmation quotes, picking slips, shipping labels, invoices, credit debit notes, they're all customizable, as well as your sales order and sales type reports. You know, your boring sort of accounting uh, transaction lists. Uh, order action report is, um, uh, you know, if this, uh, for example, you might have uh, different types of orders that have never been shipped, partially shipped, orders on hold, um, and also statuses. You can, you know, do order action reports by status, you know. Uh, so, you know, orders you've completed, but you, the shipment hasn't occurred, or where you've only sh part shipped part of an order. Um, where some of the items are available for shipment if you haven't completed the order or items are totally out of stock. So you run reports for like that and sort of monitor um, your sales order processing. Uh, same thing you can do, you can age orders and you can do your a uh, invoice action, you can run sales history, buy customer and buy product, uh, print out sales commission uh, reports as well. Now once you've uh, done your day in process. Uh, so you normally do the day in process. Uh, you don't have to do it at the end of the day, that's just the terminology of SAGE users. Uh, you could do that periodically every hour, at the end of every day, every couple of days, every week. That just updates the costing information. The other thing that it does do though, is it sends the, um, in, you know, the invoices down into accounts receivable uh, you know, for debt collection essentially. And you can actually go and view those uh, sale, uh, those sales invoices, you can go and view those in the accounts receivable module, which is over here. And I mean, it automatically posts um, those invoices over there, and then they'll be available for, for uh, the accountant in your organization to ring up and uh, collect the money. All right, that uh, provides a brief overview of the sales order and invoicing uh, process. We'll put some more videos up there about uh, doing uh, inventory management, um, as well as purchasing, uh, and some debt collection on the AR side as well. So uh, we'll just let that uh, day in process go through, post all our sales invoices down to AR, and uh, I'll switch the video off now. Thanks for your attention.